Hey everybody, here is my newest vlog post, basically a COVID-19 update. <laughs> so still, still working. I just, I didn't just get off work. When I attempted to make my first video, I was just getting off work. And then I made like 10 more and then I was like, nah, too long. So here's the short, hopefully concise update on what's happening right now in my life. So FedEx delivery. We're still working to make sure that all y'all in the Dubuque area and around the country um, can still get stuff while you're under house arrest, also known as quarantine or social distancing, whatever. Um, we're trying to keep it safe. We're trying to keep washing it. We're trying to wash our hands regularly, use hand sanitizer. Um, we have a way that makes it so you don't have to sign stuff um, if you need a signature, but, but we can still just type you in and make sure you're home unless it's something more expensive or important. So yeah, so we're trying to keep it safe. We're trying to make sure everybody gets what they need and um, taking the needed health concern step things. Um, speaking of health concerns, as of today, which I should have probably started earlier, but I was quite selfish and was like, I won't even get that sick. Now I'm like, it's not about you, Deanna. Um, it's about other people. Maybe you should love others more and worry about getting them sick. So. Starting today, I'm gonna do my own self distancing, quarantine thing. Um, at least until we hopefully figure this out um, as a country, as the world, as a world, human race, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I made a list of fun things I can do while I'm at home, which I mean, I'm a hermit, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so, you know, just a little bit of social distancing and um, making sure I'm taking, you know, proper safety things seriously when I'm working because I do deliver to a lot of older people in my route. Um, yeah, and then seeing as um, a lot of school stuff shut down, that means that my trip to India was canceled, which is really sad, but also understandable. Um, for those of you who have donated towards my trip, I'm not just gonna go spend that money. If you want it back, you can. Otherwise, I'm going to save it for hopefully a future trip. And I have my own separate savings for that. Um, I'd really like to take a trip next year if I can, see if we're gonna try to go to India again, or maybe do my own thing missions wise for a month or a couple weeks or whatever um, in the future, far future, like a year from now. Um, so yeah, bad news is the whole entire world kind of panicked. Semi good news is I can still work, I still have a job. Um, and then I don't have to stress about bills and stuff. Uh, bad news, my trip's canceled. The good news is that um, I have something to look forward to. I'm moving mid-May um, and into June in with my friend Caroline. Um, I love living with Mo. It's just hard living in a one-bedroom apartment and I kind of need a little more personal space. Um, so Caroline and I found a two-bedroom that we like in an apartment building that I'm obsessed with. And some of my other friends live there so it's gonna be really fun um, that we get to room together again because we roomed together for a couple months last summer as well. And yeah, so in a couple months, like two, I'll be like, yo, how many of y'all have extra furniture you don't want? Um, so yeah, so I'm moving, I'm saving up for that and really looking forward to all that God has to show me through this time of um, being by myself and spending more time praying for everybody for parents to come with their kids for any students of any age you know who are frustrated by having to go home or do everything online or who are stressed by doing stuff online um and then for kids who are like in toxic home lives like praying that they would be brave and courageous and you know make it through but not be afraid to tell others about um bad things happening at home you know that they'd still be able to reach out and that um, teachers would still be asking good questions and being aware of those sort of things and yeah, there's just a lot of good, a lot of bad. Um, I'm really hoping that this time of fear and um, people will, and like less things to do, um, like, you know, watching sports, doing the things, um, means that families will get closer together and that marriages will get healthier and that parents will learn a lot of patience and be reminded of, you know, why they had kids or why they've kept their kids, you know, the whole abortion thing happening, you know, all this stuff happening means that families actually get a chance to sit down with each other to just take it slow, 
yeah, there's a lot of stress. Yeah, there's a lot of worry. But, like, your family, like, that's more important than all the material things of this world. Um, and more important than that is God and that he's in this. He's in charge of this. Um, he is obviously letting it happen for a reason, a good reason, because God is good. And that we can find our hope and our peace and our joy and our strength in him and in all he's giving us. And maybe pray for one another. Maybe we encourage one another. Maybe get even closer in community with one another through this time of unknown. And so, yeah, that's all I had to say. And hopefully more vlogs to come in my time of solitude. Have a great night.